Hey everybody, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on a few trending tickers in the market. First, I want to look at DWAC or Digital World Acquisition Corp. Taking a look here at the daily time frame. It's been a while since I covered the stock, but I believe last time I covered it, I was talking about this uptrend, this nice uptrend it was in right here and how it was treating the 21 day exponential moving average as a dynamic support level. You can see that right here. It was doing a really good job. Then this nasty candle right here, this was about a month ago, um, March 7th, uh, this fat moved down and that's where it broke below the 21. And now you can see it's treating this 21 day EMA as a dynamic resistance level as it bled all the way down to 60, bounced off of that level nicely, came up here and challenged this 21 day EMA, starting to sell off again. Um, so that 60 level there is definitely key. And you can see we're below that uh, trading pre-market around $54. So yeah, it looks like we're going to break that key level here. I'm not seeing anything on this daily time frame right now that is telling me to go long um, this stock. What I would like to see, um, well, we're going to break and set a new low here. So what I would like to see is, you know, this thing actually go up and maybe set a higher low because right now we have this big move down, a little bit of a rally, and we're about to set a new um lower low here on this daily time frame so we definitely still have this 21 day ema as a dynamic resistance it looks like we are about to set a lower low here on the daily time frame so not really seeing anything um, that is telling me this is a good long opportunity um, if anything right now i'd probably be going up and selling calls and taking a short position on this if i was going to make a trade entry Let's take a look here at another ticker I was looking at, ISPO. Not much to see here on the daily time frame after this insane explosion. After it hit the markets, it's just been doing a whole lot of nothing and tracking sideways. Let me see. The one hour tells me not much either. Okay, here's the 15 minute. This is kind of what I was looking at here. And this one also is struggling to get above and stay above the 21 day EMA, but it's on the 15 minute time frame. You can see this explosion from about 775 up to around 12. It's just been selling off. You can see um, closed at 834 on Friday, and here we are trading below that. So it looks like it's going to break through here and maybe set a lower low here on the 15 minute time frame. So to me, it looks like it's probably coming down to test around the 7 to 75 level here. As you can see, that is the low here on the 15 minute. Um, and I would keep an eye there to see if buyers step in at that point, start to buy it up and reject that level, or if the sellers are going to crush it below that level. And if they do, I think that would be you know a good short entry if it would close below the 775 here on the 15 minute time frame. And then one other stock I was looking at was ATER. And I think I was seeing around the same here on the 15 minute and the one hour time frame. But to me, just kind of in a range, you see this thing ripped up nicely from about 210 to 290, pulled back, bounced off of 230, rallied up, but could not even challenge that 290 high. You can see it here, it only made it up to like 275, tracked lower again, but bounced nicely again off the 230 level. Um, started to rally up and kind of sputtering out now. Um, so you can kind of see here on this time frame, since the run to 290, you know, you've definitely got a, you could throw up a downtrend line right there, kind of showing the um, lower highs this thing has been making since the run to 290. Um, so I definitely think here 230 is a key level to keep an eye on and also 290. You can see it almost made it up to 290 back here. So I made it up to about 284. So a couple challenges of that level up around 290. I think if the bulls can pump this thing and close it above 290 on this time frame. I think that's a good sign. That would be a nice breakthrough, a resistance level there um, that it rejected pretty hard here. Um, couple Wednesdays ago and then to the downside um, you know if it closes below if the sellers can you know crush this thing and it closes below 230 um, you know I think it's gonna come all the way down here and retest this 210 low um, but you can see I didn't even notice that but in pre-market trading today this thing is trading um, at about 251 so it looks like it's gonna have a nice um, open higher here so it's gonna open a little bit higher than where it closed on Friday um, so yeah, if I were to throw up this trend line that I was talking about here, that would be a good sign too. If this thing could ram up and bust through this trend line, that would be a nice sign to close above this trend line. Stop respecting this downtrend line here. And then, you know, the next level I'd be looking at is maybe 275. I'd like to see it break through that 
because since this run to 290, again, it's just kind of been trekking down and setting lower highs. So I'll continue to keep you guys updated here on these tickers and any new trades that I get into. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.